up with it, y'all? It's your boy Bobby Ailes here, Shark Life Ventures. Got my 2020 Silverado RST here. We're getting ready to do a subwoofer and uh, amp install uh, from Scar Audio. Um, toils came already in the box preset. I got a 15 or a 1200 watt amp. I'll put everything in the description below. But we're about to get started on it. This does not have a bow system in it, so the install is gonna be different from what a lot of people have been talking about. So here we go. It is. I did some quick mods already. Uh, I switched out all my badges so everything is black. So it's a black and blue thing. All my doors open. See the back. RST. But we about to get started on it. Um, a couple things. I know I'm gonna be able to tap in on this side to get my audio. Um, I do have the storage thing up under here. So I'll be taking this out and I believe I gotta take out the jack as well. It's anything that's gonna be blocking the amp will go behind the seats. I'll be taking these two top seats out. Um, I'll be running my power wire up this side and through here um, with these GM cars, with these Silverados now, they got like a, if you see, let's see if I can get in there, okay. See that right there? That right there, that could take me straight through. It's like another port. So I just got to slit a hole in that and run my power wire through there. And it's very easy. You know, back in the day, you used to have to drill a hole in the firewall or run it up through here all crazy and it's getting crimped in your door. So it's it's new, newer, newer trucks and stuff these days. It's pretty easy. So you have that piece right there. And it's right behind the battery. Here, here's a, so you go to the car and you look down. I don't really I gotta move that out the way, but if you see, zoom in for you right there. Yep, that right there. So that's what you're looking for. You just cut a hole in that and you can slide your wire right through it. So we'll do that. Um, go inside, pull everything out and get started. 2020 Silverado RST without bows, sub and amp install. 1500 watts, it's four gauge, 120 amp. You can see what it says on the box um, that I have the pack. SNI 35, which is the uh, high low converter. So we'll run this to the, we'll run the wires to the speaker line and plug the RCAs in. This will go to the amp. Then I got the SCAR Audio 1200 watt RMS. So um, these speakers I have are at one ohm, so I'll be get 1200 watts. Um, there are the Loaded subwoofers. Let me pull this out for y'all so I can see this. So I got the Scar Audio dual subwoofer. These are two twelves. Uh, this box is carpeted. That's what I liked about it. It's the same same color as my carpet in the car. Um, this is what it looks like if you're looking up under the seat. And these are what the twelves look like. I tell you what, this box is heavy. So you got two twelves. Um, I believe the input is in the back. Yep, there's your input right there. Yep, and we're going to get this buddy installed and we're going to go from there. First is to, I'm going to remove all the trim pieces here, here, run that side, here. I got to take this out. I believe I got to take the jack out too. Um, everything. Oh, this is coming out. I got to take those panels off. Panel at the driver's side. And my fuse. My, my fuse will go in here. Not fuse, but excuse me. My remote wire will go into this right there. Right next to that double 50. It'll go right to this one right there. So it'll go to that one right there. 
So let's get started. Just about all the panels still got to get up in there to follow the, the hole that comes through. But I got all my panels off. Got the storage compartment off. And with the SCAR audio box, you actually don't have to remove the jack stand or this right here, the uh, jack accessories. But my amp is going right here and it fits perfect right there in my box. It's gonna sit perfect. But I got all the trimming off. Both sides. This is where I'll tap in to the the audio. Run my RCAs from here. I put my my uh, high low box right there and run that. Um, I'll probably run my subwoofer, my amp control for the subs down the side too. Um, I don't know. I just like to keep my RCA separate from my power wire. I believe a lot of y'all do the same thing, but we're making progress here. So my next step now, since I got all that straight, I'll try to set my wires in the front, I mean from the rear, and run them to the front. Then I'll go up under there, um, wait for my engine to cool down a little bit. I had to make some runs. So I'm waiting for the engine to cool down so I can reach my hand down there and, and cut that open so I can push the wire through and we'll be good to go. Good progress. I got my base control wire ran. It's gonna go right here. Um, I also got my high low ran. Uh, I connected in here to the green and black twisted wires. They're two wires, they're green and black, they're twisted. That's what you connect into RCA. Got my, excuse my sweat, my pack SNI 35 in there. That's to sit up under there like that. RCA's ran. Um, I like to be able to get the control of my, my gain and everything if need be, make adjustments so my amp will be mounted upside down or I guess it really doesn't matter but I just rather be able to look at here and blow up I can reach screwdriver and make an adjustment and keep it moving so next process is running a power wire and connecting everything up okay, my next part is running my power wire which is already ran up to this point but if you look in there right there you see the or I cut it at it goes straight through got this oh I'm old school you know I got a coat hanger pushed it through there so if you walk around this end you'll go up under here and look let's see you looking for the coat hanger and look at that so i'll hook the coat hanger on there cut the power wire well let me take my remote wire off this is from running it previously so let's just take that off real quick so i'll put that on there Hook it, I'll probably, you know, make it a little tighter, pull it straight through, and we'll be wiring everything up in the back and putting power to them. All right, I'm back, y'all. Had to run the auto zone. I don't like drilling holes and stuff, especially my new dashboard. I gotta get that screen protector the dude said to get and that my screen looks hideous. But anyways, I like using these um little velcro snap thingies. So when I mount my knob, I'll put one on each side. And also these work well if you want to put them up under the hood to mount, to mount your, your fuse block. So you can put one at the bottom of each one and they do withstand the heat of an engine and they do stick pretty well if you don't want to drill holes in anything. These are definitely a good choice. So, yeah. All right, I got my power wire mounted here i like how gm does this it's like they knew we was gonna hook car audio up to our cars and stuff but got any ran got the little sleeve on him all this you won't even see all this power it up the wire ran in there so right now i'm working on connecting my amp cleaning up my wires and going to the next step so right now i'm back in the back uh got all my wires in here ground wire power wire remote wire uh sub control wire rcas 
And if you know car audio, you have all your wires ready to go. Uh, speaker wires, of course, right there. But we're definitely making progress and we should be beating down the block in a few minutes. Okay, y'all, making some progress here. Another update. Got the amp mounted, wired. I like using this kind of like um, this uh, cloth tape. It keeps it protected. And plus it makes it kind of look factory-ish. Uh, I know you still can see some of the color in it, but you know, it. Um, back in the day, I probably would have just ran it and wires hanging over where got to keep tucking them in. Um, I'm trying to keep a real clean look on my truck. I mean, it was a Father's Day gift for my wife. So just put my little spin on it. Um, People ask uh, why my amp is upside down, why the words face like that. Um, I do it like this because I won't be able to get access to my gain levels at any given time. Most of the time, once you get it set, you're good, but hey, who knows? But it gives you access by just opening the door and putting the seat up. Instead of being on this side, you only got the power and speaker wire, which you don't need to see. And plus you get to see your protection and power, all that right there. So that's why I face it like that. So. Uh, but next step is to get some cleaning up, snap some pieces back in place, put the box in here, and give her a test run. Stay tuned. So with it, y'all? It's your boy Ailes here. I'm back. 2020 Chevy Silverado RST Z71 car audio subwoofer and amp installation. Power wire ran. Looks good. Got all my panels back on. Got the box in here. Shout out to Scar Audio. Let's put these seats down, see what it look like. Seats down. And I still, a lot of people was talking about access to your jack. This box is made for you to keep your jack. It's starting to rain, so I got it done right on time. Other side over here. Amp back there, got access to my controls. Looks good, still got my jack equipment up there. That down like that. Panels in, panels in on this side. Sub knob, like I was telling y'all, I don't like to do the screwing in the dash, so I got this little Velcro thing right here. It works pretty good and doesn't, it's easy to take off. Um, but I'm good to go, start it up and Get a test run. I'm gonna clean up first. So I won't get rained on. I'd rather sit in the car, have all my stuff in there. But here we are. What's going on, y'all? It's your boy Ailes here, man. I really appreciate y'all following along while I do this install on my 2020 Chevy Silverado Z71 RST. Um, I got two 12s from Scar Audio and I got a 1200 watt amp from Scar Audio as well. Uh, amp kit from scar audio i put everything in the details um everything works good sounds good i'm gonna do this make sure your ground wire is good make sure your ground wire is good because i had everything ran everything together tried it cut off on me i was like okay something's not right most of the time it's the ground so i had to file around where the ground connected at so i can get a solid ground connection and haven't cut off yet played a couple songs so here you are the install by Shark Life Ventures, your boy Bobby Ailes. Check it out. All right, here's the final walkthrough. Got my power wire ran. GM was so kind, weren't they? To include that opening right there. You can just cut that and go straight through. Then even on the top panel, they even have a slot where you can run a wire in so it ain't sitting all crazy like back in the day, you know what I'm saying? So here's that. Put the hood down so y'all can see this beautiful beast right here. I'm changing out the, that's gonna be all black, all black bow tie. Got the all black, all black Z71. Uh, my remote and power wire was ran through here and up. Behind here is the fuse panel where the remote wire goes right into. And it ran along here. And as you can see, I start on this side, uh, the box. This is my neck. The box that Scar Audio offers um, leaves space so you can keep your your jack. So you ain't got to remove that with this box. Um, walk around more. 
RST, all black. Chevrolet sign, all black. Silverado, all black. On this side right here, I got my, my audio wire, RCAs, and my sub control wire running on this side. Um, as you can see here, I leave my left my ground wire out just so it'll stay fresh and not crinkled. But nice fit. I still have access right here to get to all my adjustments. And the box looks great back here. So it's perfect. Put that on like that. So everything is ran. And then come to this side, ran down next school's the mess. It started raining on me. But I got my control right here which eventually i'm gonna flip it and it'll be mounted right there um i kind of feel more comfortable reaching right here than reaching down here no i don't want no drama from the police I'm trying to be safe out here but i'm gonna start it up um the song that you play is a beat that i made so they won't try to hit me with no copywriting so stay tuned for the sound test all right y'all here goes the sound test um, I made this beat, so I don't have to worry about no copyright. Car running, amp is on, see the blue light. So we'll do the sound test real quick. Um, I love the, um, you know, the uh, Android audio on Apple Play. I'm shooting this, this phone right here that I'm holding is a iPhone 14 Pro Max. And this is my Z Fold right here. I use this as my business and work phones, perfect. When it wants to act right, probably ain't to flip it this way. It's probably on not rotate, but anyways, I'm gonna play this beat and we get the sound test real quick. see what kind of outside sound we get then I'll get in and see what the inside sound sounds like pretty well sealed sounds pretty good even on the outside so we're gonna get in real quick and get this inside feel So we're inside, we're gonna do an inside test. See what we got here. Let me go back to what I was playing because you know, they be wanting to hit you with the copyright. So, but it looks good back there. Still got plenty of space back there. You know, didn't take up none at all. Lost my storage, but I don't store nothing up in here anyways. Yeah, I'm a little sweaty and hot because Ohio decided to rain. Then the sun decided to come out, so. The sun was out, then it started raining, then you y'all know how Ohio is. Sounds pretty good, man. My first audio installation on my new truck. You know how we do. We usually put something in, then it turns out not to be good enough. Look, I'm 42 going on 43. It's all I need. I can turn it down when I want. The kids won't complain. The wife loves music. So as long as it's the weekend and I'm playing it, she ain't going to complain. But it's your boy Bobby L's here. Make sure y'all like and subscribe to the channel. 
Um, I will be bringing more things to you. I do drawing work, I do videography, I do taxes, I do credit repair, business credit, all that. And I have a landscaping company, so I'm a jack of all trades, master of many. It's your boy Bobby Ailes here, Shark Life Ventures. I'm out of here. Hope y'all enjoyed the video.